All right, here we are. Most beautiful ballpark in the world. Play some hockey. I'm here two hours early, like I always am. Hopefully the, the gates are open for me. All right, let's go. Look at all these legendary statues. A lot of championships here in St. Louis. Hopefully they'll win a Stanley Cup one of these days. This is gonna be so sick. Can't wait. I never know how to like carry these pads. Like they're amazing because they're so light, but you're used to just like buckling two straps together and carrying them and they're all Velcro. I'm in a lot of pain right now, I'm not gonna lie. I got a really bad back. I haven't carried my gear in six months, let alone carried it a long distance. Hopefully one of these days I can get an assistant to do this stuff for me. You can edit out the parts about my bad back though, because I don't want like scouts to think I'm out of commission or anything. Like obviously I'm ready to go and play in this game just like I would be in an NHL game. So do we go in here? Yeah, absolutely. What's going on? How you doing? Nice oh, to meet you guys. Buddy. Big fan. Big Thank fan. you. Appreciate oh. it. Thanks for coming out today, guys. Oh, no problem. Perfect day for a hockey game, huh? Totally. Yeah, great. It's going to be sick. Perfect weather, classic weather. I love how the big guys get rain and then us beer leaguers get perfect snow, yeah, perfect it's weather. Okay. It's <laughs> perfect. What's up, bud? Yeah. You ready to go? Glad you could make it. Thanks. Thanks for having me out. I'm excited. Yeah. I've been here. I got here like two hours early, but I guess they won't let us in until an hour ahead of time. <laughs> Why'd you get here so early? I don't know. I just mentally prepare and, you know, do you think there's any going to be any scouts of the game tonight, today? No, man. I don't think so. This no? Is, uh, this is just for charity. Really? Once they finally let us in the gate, it seemed like we had to walk another two miles just to get to the locker room. It was exhausting, and I'm pretty sure Jake Allen did not have to carry his gear that far. But no complaints. I was just ecstatic to be there. When we finally made it into the locker rooms, which were sick, by the way, I started getting my stuff all prepped and ready to go, and of course getting mentally prepared. But it was different though, it's the first time I've ever gotten dressed next to the opposing goalie. But it's a charity game and for a good cause, so I introduced myself and made a new friend. KVG, nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sick. Gotta get a good Instagram post up. This is unreal. So excited. All right, hey everybody, welcome. Uh, I'm just gonna start passing out jerseys. So I got Abe's. Where's Abe's? Right here. Thank you. Damn. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can come in here. Kane Van Gate. Oh, there you go. Right. This is sick. He was always a white guy. Trust me, I'm very much a white guy. Louis. Yeah, buddy. Do you have a 38? Do you have a third? I think I got the I think I got the wrong jersey, Albers. I'm supposed to be 38. I thought it was King Bay 30. Oh, uh, it's 38. It's cool. I I'll get some blue tape on it or something. No worries. And I know a lot of you are going to be jealous about this, but I even got to meet Beer League Beauty. I was hoping we'd be on the same team so we could do some damage together, but unfortunately, she was rostered on the blue side. Thank you, Lubin. Oh, yeah. So this Lulu base layer has a hood, so I'll be able to pop this on and then put my mask on over it and stay a little warm out there. It was pretty surreal getting dressed in the Cardinals clubhouse, and it felt pretty weird putting the pads on for the first time in several months. But when you have the mind and body of an athlete like me, instincts take over. For me, it's like riding a bike. For everyone else, it's probably the most difficult sport in the world. 
but a calm sets in and I'm able to focus on the job in front of me. I will admit there were a few butterflies in my stomach when I stepped out of the dugout and walked up to the ball field. Just looking at the St. Louis skyline as we hit the ice was so cool. It was a short warm up so I had to get a stretch in and see some pucks fast. It was also kind of strange not having my boys with me, the Rebels from my BHL team of course. I really wish they could have played too. I'm surprised none of them took off work to come down and support me because I sent them several emails and group texts leading up to this game, but, but I'm sure they all had legit reasons. Unreal. What's up buddy? How you doing? You excited to miss school for this? Give me some nuts. Ready to go, ready to dominate. The team came out a little flat and the blue team was flying. First shot, first save, good start, good start. They were testing me from all angles, but I was feeling pretty good. My pads were sliding like butter on that NHL made ice. Hopefully Steve was wrong and the scouts were there for those first 10 minutes of highlight reel saves. Oh, yeah, it's a little different without having refs here. Kind of like beer league though. The refs kind of fall asleep sometimes. I can't believe I forgot the eye black. Such a dumb dumb. That was a knuckle puck. You do that on purpose? I wasn't the only hockey celebrity to play in the Frozen Cup. Beer League Beauty, who most of you follow on Instagram, drove all the way down from Niagara Falls just to play in this game. Cam Jansen, a Blues alum and a St. Louis local, was playing on my team. Cam has always been a fearless enforcer and a local favorite during his time with the Blues. Oh, it's unbelievable. It really is. Being here all weekend, oh, oh, I, I wanted to be out there so bad, and now I get a chance to. It's awesome. Too bad I suck right now. Jamie Rivers, another Blues alumni, was playing D on the other team. Jamie decided to stick around St. Louis after retiring, like many Blues alums. He's even a back-to-back -back BHL champion, and if you ask him, he'll be the first to admit that that's a highlight of his hockey career. Here we go! Heads up, cameraman! The teams were pretty even, but like many BHL games or charity games, the goalies were hung out to dry. And I'm pretty sure Steve had scouts in the stands because he was playing like it was the actual Winter Classic. That's why I teach kids not to poke check. The blue team continued to pressure, and at one point, one of their bigger guys turned into Bobby Orr and absolutely steamrolled me. For a second, I thought my career was over before it even started back up again. But I'm a hockey player, so I was able to get right back up, dust the snow off, and finish the game. What an amazing day. They even gave everyone a little extra time on the ice to snap some pictures and get one last look at the beautiful scenery at Bush Stadium. Because uh, it's a charity game, obviously I had to give up some charity goals. It's the season of giving and um, yeah, and I forgot my eye black, which is, can't believe I forgot my eye black. Two of those, three, three of those goals I just lost sight, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, it was for a good cause and we had a great time. Doesn't get much better than this. Hey, 
Thanks, Steve here. He's the one who made it all happen. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. That's my old man. That's awesome.